so. The part everybody's talking about is the mom part. Oh, there's like a commercial. Hold on. <clears throat> the mom part. So, you know, if you, if you're black, most of my followers are black, but I got a lot of white followers in Spanish. Shout out to all y'all, all races, but the majority of my followers is niggas. But what I call us niggas, we real niggas. And um, and you could be white and be a real nigga too, just so we're clear. But um, when you arguing with somebody, like when y'all just taking shots verbally back and forth, like ain't no rules. Like you don't really have no rules. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. And if the bitch got a problem with it, then she could swing or she could just walk off and be mad. That's how it is in the hood, okay? That's how verbal confrontations take place. You say something, the other person says something worse, and they go a little bit higher, and they go a little bit higher. And then when you reach your peak of where, okay, now I'm going to beat your ass, you either beat that ass or you walk away, depending on where you are in your maturity at that point in your life, okay? Now, when she said, my mom, she's dead, Stacy thought she said she did. That's why she said good. So she's like, so so she said, tell your mama to take her medication. And she thought she said she did, baby, she did. And she said good. So we got, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to spoil it all, but that's really why she said good. It didn't have, she didn't know that she said that was her mama. She didn't know. And let's just say she did. So what? When you talking shit, when it's words being thrown back and forth, you really can't get mad at how somebody reacts to something you say. Like you could say something real petty, but in their life, something happened to them, you know, traumatically and, and whatever you said touched them. You know, like if you said something to a bitch who had an eating disorder and you said like, what's your old skinny ass, you skinny anorexic looking bitch. And she had an eating disorder and she, you know, it took her some places and she had to climb out of some shit to be where she is. She might say something all the way left to you because that hurt. I lost the feed. But, um, shit. I was in the middle of talking about eating disorders and shit. Yeah, you just don't know what you say to somebody and how it might affect them. And if it affects them a certain way and it makes them say something that really hurts your feelings, then don't argue with them. They're, they're, they're not the kind of arguers that you like. You want to argue with somebody that's fair in the argument. That's what you want. You should go find somebody that doesn't hit below the belt. Because Stacy hits below the belt. Miko, she's going to hit below the belt too. So don't argue with me if you feel like there's certain lines and, and rules that should, shouldn't be broken. Because all I'm going to do is be waiting for a fade. Once you get to the point where you're really mad, you want to fade, then let's do that. Because all this talking is for nothing. We don't agree, so let's move on. If you want to keep arguing, now I'm going to say something disrespectful just to hurt your feelings and see if you pussy or not. That's it. Because bitches be like, I, I should smack her. I really wanted to smack her, but, but you know, I had told my husband that I would. Like, if somebody does something or says something smack worthy, then smack them. Flat out. Nobody has done anything smack worthy to me yet. <laughs>